Hey, it's Jay and welcome back to my channel and a happy Halloween. For Halloween, I decided that I would show you how I cosplay one of my favorite characters, Kim Cosme from Haikyuu. I am really excited to share this with you. I've mentioned it before in some of my other videos that I do cosplay with a group of friends of mine. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, don't forget to hit that like button and maybe hit the subscribe if you really enjoyed it. Have a happy Halloween and I hope you like the video. I hope you enjoy this Kenma. Just wanted to say a few things before I start this video. First, I'm not a beauty guru, so please do not come for me. Secondly, this video was not sponsored, but I will be mentioning a few products from a company that I do have an affiliate code for. Anyway, details will be in the description box below. Let's jump right into the video. Okay, bye! Welcome to my bare face. I was a bit nervous about this part because I don't have the most self-confidence in how I look, but my sister convinced me to show it because it kind of helped show the transformation from me to the pudding head that we all love and adore. First, I'm just putting on makeup primer so that it settles in. When I go to conventions in cosplay, I go for a waterproof makeup primer or add waterproofing droplets to the primer. Convention season here on Ontario is in the warmer months, so waterproofing is a must. And for most high key photo shoots, at least the ones that I've been to, it always turns into an impromptu volleyball match. Anyways, Ripcon season 2020, you will be missed. The next step is the wig and wig cap. I put the wig cap on first, and then do my makeup, and then put the wig on once I'm done. Fun fact, the first time I cosplayed Kenma four years ago, five years ago, I re-dyed my hair to match his ombre and killed it. Ever since then, I have just kept wigs. A hack that my friends and I do when we do cosplays is to double up our wig caps, putting one forward and then one from the back, and we actually cut holes at the top of them, and this just helps the wig from slipping, but also makes your hair a lot flatter so you don't have that weird bulge or bump in the back. The hands that you're going to see in the video are my sister's because I needed help putting on the wig from behind. I've mentioned in a few of my videos before but my friends and I do cosplay and so we're usually helping each other out with this. I've never done this before but if you want to see some of my other cosplays or my friends cosplays I will put my cosplay group Instagram in the description box. My next step is to color correct and powder my nose. This is a hack so you get less oily underneath your liquid makeup because the powder underneath is absorbing it all. Thank you, Jackie Ina. I'm using this Etude House Zero Sebum Setting Powder and this mini LED mirror from YesStyle. I bought these a while ago but have recently been given a, a YesStyle affiliate code. I still can't believe this to share this with you beautiful people. If you didn't know, YesStyle is an online shop that has a bunch of Asian beauty, fashion, and lifestyle products, and they have given me the code HEYITSJ in all caps to share with you lovely people so you can get an extra 5% off your order. Feel free to use it if you like. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Anyways, um, once I'm finished, I go straight into my foundation. I only ever wear foundation for special events or cosplay, and I usually go for BB creams or cushion in every day. I'm not a beauty guru, but if you'd like to see my everyday makeup, I'd be happy to do a video for that. For cosplay, I go for a long-lasting, fuller coverage one because you need to make it last and it needs to look good in photos. I usually empty my foundation into a cushion foundation case so it's more compact so I can touch up on the go. The one that's in this case is the L'Oreal Infallible Wear Foundation, and this is my tried and true for cosplays. It works like magic, and it doesn't cause flashback. When I do con when I do cosplays, I use a lot of concealer, so please bear with me. This first one is to help cover up my dark circles because they're pretty bad, and also to give me more of a straight boy brow for Kenma. The second one that you're gonna see me put on my face that I leave on for longer is to help brighten up my under eyes. I find this works really well for photos and it kind of gives my face a lift. While I leave that on, I'm going to go straight into contouring. You can always use face tape, but the most simple way is to contour. When I cosplay male characters, I do that basic three contour, like the hairline, chin, and cheekbone, but then I extend the cheekbone 
to the hollow of my cheek i don't know if that's the right word and then down to my chin this helps my very round feminine face to look well i think makes it look more like a structured masculine face after that and i quote my friend for this i beat myself to the gods i also realized when i was editing this that i blend a lot with my middle finger for stuff so my apologies Once I'm done my blending, I go back to bake my face afterwards to seal in all my hard work. I know I look like a psychopath who dunk their face in baby powder, but while I bake, I move on to my eyes and eyebrows, which in the case for Canva is his most prominent features. I keep it very simple for the brows, just brushing them out so they're more straight and bushy. Um, and then the prep for eye makeup, I put on a waterproof eye primer. I did this out of habit. I had much regret when I was trying to get this off after filming, love it for cons. I set the primer with a face powder that matches my skin tone and it also helps with the oiliness because my eyelids also get oily. I know, it, it, it's really weird. I also just recently changed my usual Kenma makeup to match a little bit more with the new animation style that gives the characters a more prominent eyelid so still rough about the edges also how do you feel about the new animation style leave it in the comments below i then use a white eyeshadow all over my lids and then under my eyebrows and then i move on to a more natural brown shade it's a little bit more tan than my skin tone just is kind of the middle and then i take a deeper bronzer for the outer edges my sister jokes I'm basically making a smoky eye whenever I call it Kenma, but I stick to very browns and mattes just for the base part. The key part for this is obviously to create those prominent eyelids. I take a black eyeshadow and start creating a line where my crease is on like the top of my eyeball. And I take this line from the outer edge all the way to the middle of my pupils and then make it a C shape so that it's connecting to the outer edges of my eyes. I hope that makes sense. I also just kind of blend everything else with this very subtle kind of shimmery white uh, just to make everything pop. I then move on to eyeliner which first off I'm terrified of liquid eyeliner after being traumatized by getting some in my eye so I use a uh, gel liner and Kenma is a cat. So cat liner is necessary for this. Do not come for me. I know that they don't look the best right now. They are related. They are not sisters or twins. They're like second cousins, <laughs> twice removed. After I do my uh, eye makeup, I buff out all of the baking powder and then I go back in and bronze the places where I contoured. Next, I curl my eyelashes and put on some mascara. Sometimes for cons, I will use a shorter fake eyelash for Kenma, but I didn't have any on hand while I was filming this video. My next step afterwards is to put on some lip balm and then some MLBB, My Lips But Better lip tint. My sister was telling me that it shows up really red in the video and I'm noticing it now too but it's much more subtle in person. After that, I take a white eyeshadow eyeliner and put it on my waterline and I don't know the English name for it, but um, Nunsal or Agusal, that little eye fat. And then I blend it with a little bit of the face powder at the bottom so it still bright but it isn't a scary bright look oh forgot to mention both my uniform which is the full like volleyball uniform i don't have the casual kenma cosplay and the wig are from AliExpress as well as that portable wig stand. I bought these many moons ago, but if I can find it, I will link it in the description box below. But that basically completes this look. 
I will take some pictures as Kenma and show you how they look like while I end this video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, learned a little something, and had fun watching me attempt to do makeup. I love you to the moon and back. Have a happy Halloween, and I will see you in my next video. Jay.